Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can add a Gantt graph into ClickUp. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at ClickUp.com or log into our existing account. When we are in our workspace, as you can see, we have a list here and some to-do tasks. So let's start with adding the tasks like test 2, test, test 3, let's say test 4. Straight away, as you can see, you can set the priority, you can set the assignees. Let's go like this. And also, as I showed you in previous video, I'll show you the statuses that you can add for your lists. It will maybe take a while or it will need a refresh. As you can see, there's this to do and the status. You can choose to search for statuses. You can add another one on or use the state, uh, for example, to do in progress and we'll be done. Let's go with this color save and now we can go like this in progress it's very easy and very nice to see sorry very nice to see how you can really separate the tasks in uh, in ClickUp let's add more let's add more tests like this and make this one completed so it perished into board and you see it's in here and now we have done and in progress maybe and let's go with this one and it will be to do so as you can see we have white palette of tasks that we can assign or we already assigned and now we want to make a Gantt graph out of those there's one more and it's completed what we have to do now we have to go and click on the top middle of our screen the plus button and add view and when this pop-up window show up we want to start with a Gantt and add view and straight away out of this list or oh, something is not working here from this list we can create a graph but somehow it's not working but i think it's because of the dates yes it works in here because uh, the reason why it's not working in this list, especially this Gantt graph, is because uh, we need to set up a due date. Let's go like this. When there is no due date, you won't be able to see in the Gantt graph the time management let's, let's go like this add view and straight away that's how you do it that's how you can manage the gantt graph of your work progress you can always click on the task you can see some description and stuff like that so that's about it guys thanks for watching and see you in the next video